I was born a free Negro. Born to be proud. Destined to be great. But the greatest story of my life had already been written by William Shakespeare. Most potent, grave, and reverend seniors. So uh, thanks to the Road Theater and a lot of amazing people, we are here with Merrick McCartha and Alan Wasserman. So let's talk about how we got this project started. How did we get involved in this? Yeah, well, years ago, I had a, uh, an actor friend, uh, African-American actor friend who uh, had a pretty good career. They went on to get advanced degrees, a master's and PhD was teaching. And we were in a group together and he mentioned uh, about Ira Aldridge and he'd done some research and I knew nothing about Ira Aldridge and I was fascinated. We were uh, in the road one day and Alan came up to me and he said, hey, I got this uh, great project. It's about Ira August. And he told me a little bit about it. I'm like, great. I'd love to do that. Absolutely, man. Send me the script. And he's like, um, you're writing it. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's like one of those, like the, the your wheels you are turning your head and they suddenly break down. That was like that break down. I'm writing it. Clink, clink. <laughs> uh, a theatrical I, anxiety attack. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I want to go and dig in deep on the literature, the documentation from Europe and from America and what I know, uh, what people know. And, uh, and it's this amazing, it's, a, it's more like an epic saga of him from here to Europe and to going beyond that and the struggles that he had to overcome. And I feel like this story of Vira Aldridge was one of those, partly because if you, once you get into his life and understand what happened to him, you can see why this is something that would have, you know, the powers be, the racist powers be would want to sort of not bring up this accomplishment in the world of the black community. Uh, yeah, about you, an actor you, you, don't, you don't find him in a lot of our history books coming up, at least not in mine. No, yeah, and that's, that's, a, that's a prevalent problem uh, with a lot of our, with a lot of history in America. And one thing that I've, I've grown to understand and everyone should is that, so, you know, sort of whitewashing this history as we call it, where we sort of negate, um, uh, people of color in their accomplishments in our history, it doesn't just hurt um, the people of color community, it also hurts all of our community because we're not learning the full truth. And we come out with this, all of us have this distortion about what happened. And that is one of the reasons why we're, we're in the situations that we are now in modern times is people have this distortion about what's true, uh, and particularly about our history. And uh, Things like this was what we really needs to work on in, in not just America, but in the world, I think. Well, our, our story feels like it's Black Lives Matter 1800s. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, we didn't do this alone. We got a lot of help. We had Mike Brogemeyer editing, Cliff Keller and his team making music, Rob Clare being our Shakespeare consultant. I mean, it's a, it takes a village and we had a, a dream team of a village and uh, I couldn't be a more, more uh, full of gratitude about the whole situation. Yeah, me too. And again, with the Row Theater, I mean, Taylor Gilbert, Sam Anderson, Daryl Johnson, who, who uh, was stage manager for us when we were in the uh, theater space, and John Gowans, who was, able, who was there to pitch in at a, a, at a moment's notice. All those things are fantastic for us. I also want to mention what a, a, a great team we were. We, we worked well, so beautifully together. We never had an argument. We had a great time. Uh, we were always ready to collaborate and open to ideas. And uh, I hope we'll do another one soon. I am pushing you to do another one soon. I'm saying, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were COVID safe, and that was, uh, I think, one of the prouder parts that we, as a three-man crew, basically, a film production crew, we were able to put this together and create something that is wonderful that uh, does keep everyone safe and and tells a wonderful story at the same time. And also, uh, we have to confess, we sure had a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. I miss it. Was it. Something that I looked forward to every single week. It, it yeah. made our week every week. <laughs> it was just great in the midst of all this insanity.